You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. The ransomware attack on Baltimore City has impacted the city servers now for nearly two weeks today. What city leaders hoping will be some relief. The city has a workaround for real estate transactions worked out so people will be able to close sales on their homes. Starting today, realtors and home buyers will have to go to the Able Woman Municipal Building. That's right next to City Hall off Holiday Street there at Lexington and request a lien certificate in person. That is part of a detailed process the city has put out. We've got that on the website right now, WMAR2news.com. Friday was the deadline for the city to pay the hackers that the hackers had set up or they were going to delete the city's data. Mayor Jack Young did not pay the ransom. We'll see what happens going forward. The jury trial for the teenager charged with raping and killing an 83 year old woman is expected to start today. Police say 14 year old Tyrone Harvin beat and sexually assaulted Dorothy Neal inside of her home in West Baltimore back in August. Investigators say they tied Harvin to that crime using physical evidence, including condoms found at the scene. Police say Harvin initially denied knowing the woman, but then told police that he had taken out her trash in the past. Harvin has denied involvement with that crime. A new record for the Preakness Stakes. It was nearly $100 million bet on the 144th running of the race. That amount tops the record from 2017, which was around $97 million. War of Will got the win, went out at 6-1. to one. Trainer Mark Cass got the win in front of uh, more than 130,000 people who came to Pimlico. They are expected to go on to see if they can win the Belmont Stakes in New York next month as well. The decision on the third jewel of the Triple, triple Crown, though, has not been officially announced. Now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. All right, it's going to be a hot and humid day on tap. We do have the muggy meter up there on this Monday as the muggies are going to continue in the 60s as we go throughout the day. We're also going to be dealing with some change behind this cold front. Some drier air will work its way in here, but before that happens, we will continue to be in the warm sector, so those temperatures will continue to rise. The dew points as well going to be dealing with some stormy conditions possible as we go into the afternoon. The timing on the storms are 2 to 7 o'clock this evening, and the biggest threats will be damaging wind and hail if those thunderstorms do come to fruition severe. Future cast not picking up on a whole lot this morning, this afternoon, but then as we go in through the afternoon evening time frame, that's when the scattered showers and thunderstorms are possible. Again, more scattered in nature, so a lot of us will stay on the dry side for today. We will have a nice sun cloud mix, and speaking of the sunshine, we'll have even more of that as we head towards tomorrow. But for today, that high temperature coming in close to 90 degrees. Some areas may be even getting to 90. It will be breezy, and then behind that front, Christian, temperatures will be much more seasonal. Okay, thanks very much, Lynette, and stick with WMR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news here locally. For news and weather on the go, you can always download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store. we got live radar on there, and you can get breaking news alerts set up to come straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.